Hi, I Aziz welcome you to Codemaster and in this video I am going to talk about this problem. So let's get started. So the problem is given as you are given two numbers and you have to find LCM of two numbers. So the LCM stands for list common multiple. Let's understand this term with an example. Let's say you have two numbers 4 and 6. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 and so on. And the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30 and so on. Now out of all the multiples, there are two common multiples, 12 and 24, because 12 and 24 appears in both the multiples, right? And out of 12 and 24, 12 is the minimum number. It means 12 is the least common multiple of 4 and 6. It means 4 divides 12 and 6 also divides 12. Let's see few more examples. Let's say we have 4 and 6. The LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. In case of 2 and 8, the LCM is 8. In case of 3 and 5, the LCM is 5. The 3 and 5 both are prime numbers. In case of prime numbers, the LCM is simply the multiplication of two numbers. Next, in case of 5 and 10, the LCM is 10. It means 5 divides 10 and 10 also divides 10. Now here we have observations to made. So if you look at these examples closely, you may analyze that all the LCM is greater than or equal to the maximum number. So here 12 is greater than or equal to 6, 8 is greater than or equal to 8, 15 is greater than or equal to 5 and 10 is greater than or equal to 10. So it means our LCM is always going to be greater than or equal to maximum of A and B. So now let's use this idea and implement in our code. So on the left side you can see the brute force approach to solve this problem. So here we are first finding the maximum of two numbers and storing that value in LCM variable. Then we are running an infinite loop. And in infinite loop we are checking if our LCM divides A or B or not. If LCM divides A and B, we simply returns. Otherwise, we simply increment the value of LCM. Right? So let's understand this code with an example. So let's quickly dry run this code and see how it works. So let's say the value of A is 4 and B is 6. And the LCM is equal to maximum of 4 and 6. And it comes out to be 6. So we run an infinite loop and in each iteration we are simply incrementing the value of LCM. So in first iteration, the value of LCM is 6. We check if 4 and 6 divide 6, we get false. So we do nothing. So in next iteration, the value of 6 becomes 7. In this iteration also, the condition becomes false. In next iteration, the value of LCM becomes 8. In this iteration also, the condition becomes false and it will keep on going. And there is a point in time when we reach 7th iteration at that time the value of LCM is going to be 12 and at this point we check if 4 and 6 both divides 12 or not and we get true this time. So this time our code simply returns the value of 12, right? So let's see the time complexity of this function. So how many times our loop is going to run? So in worst case our loop is going to run a cross b times, right? And if we go more precisely then our loop is going to run a cross b minus max of a comma b times and we can see here in this example in case of 3 and 5 our loop is going to run from 5 to 15 it means 3 into 5 15 minus 5 10 times so in this case our loop is going to run 10 times so that's why the time complexity of this function is going to be big o of a into b minus max of a and b all right so this is a brute force approach, but we know that we always optimize the brute force approach. And here also we have some strategy to optimize this code. So let's see how can we optimize this code. So the optimization of this code is based on this formula. And the formula says A into B is equal to GCD of A and B into LCM of A and B. So here we can count A into B easily. And we also know how to find GCD of A and B. In previous video, we have learned that how to find GCD of two numbers. So by using this formula, we can simply calculate the LCM of two number. That is A into B divided by GCD of A and B. Right? So let's implement this formula in code. 
So on the left side, you can see the simplest implementation of this solution. And this is a one line of code. We are simply multiplying A with B and dividing by GCD of A and B, right? And this, GC, this piece of code we have already seen in previous video, right? If you have not watched that video, I highly recommend to watch that video and come back here and continue watching this video. So in case of A equal to 4 and 6 equal to B, we get 12 as the LCM of 6 and 4. And in case of 5 and 12, we get 10 as LCM of 5 and 10. Now let's talk about the time complexity of this function. We know that the time complexity of GCD function is big O of log n and we saw this in previous video. And uh, apart from this, we are simply doing some constant operation here. So the overall time complexity of this function is going to be big O of log of n. Cool. I hope now you have a clear understanding about how to calculate LCM of any number. What you have to do? You simply have to calculate GCD of a number and then divide it by A into B. Great. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.